All right, don't drop the camera in the snow while I put on some gloves. Because guess what? It's cold out here. It's fucking Canada. All right. Sound clap to match the audio. All right, guys. Welcome to How We Roll's channel. Uh, we're going to do a little recap of 2019 slash probably, I guess, just how life has changed this last decade thanks to longboarding. So yeah, uh, some of you guys may know me as Winnipeg's longboard community. I'm also a traveler, a content creator. I make videos, essentially. I ain't that great, I'm pretty mediocre. But I'm an ideas person. It's all about that thought, that deep thought. And uh, thus, in 2020, I uh, pledge to do a lot more STEAM activities uh, some of you guys may have seen my uh, pitch video to invite you guys all to Steam. Basically, the idea is we're doing all kinds of social media activity for free. And there's a platform that's willing to pay us to do it. And if we work together, that pay increases. So, 2020 is going to be a year of the hustle. I'm going to be hustling hard, doing some buying, selling, trading getting into all that financial stuff because, you know, I'm an adult and apparently that's what I'm supposed to do because if I get old and I don't set myself up good, well, then I starve or die in an old folks' home or I become homeless because that's capitalism. Yay! So, basically, despite that slightly negative start there, I, I'd like to think that 2020 is actually going to be a pretty exciting year. I've, uh, I've grown a lot as a person. I've definitely, uh, like, let's go back a little ways. Like I, I used to be scared of travel. I, I never went anywhere. The furthest I had gone was Fargo up until like six years ago, maybe. And then I started organizing longboard events. First I met Switchback. Then I met Brandon Harrison as he was skating across Canada. Uh, long for life. Uh, I think I also briefly knew about Push for the Cure back in the day. Uh, they did push through Winnipeg after all. I, I might have even met them. I'm not even 100% sure, but it, it was before my time of even knowing, knowing anything about longboarding. And uh, oh, yeah, and then I went to uh, Slug Jam, which got me a taste for downhill longboarding. That became addictive. And next thing you know, I started traveling out to BC and going to events, Giant's Head most notably, Mary Hill. Those events taught me how to handle real hills. And then I went to Columbia, skated down the steepest hill I've ever even seen, let alone imagined. And uh, met so many amazing skaters and so many amazing people in the longboard community. So. Basically, I fell in love with the longboard community and wanted to do nothing but spread that joy to everybody I met. So thus why Winnipeg's longboarding community still exists is because I'm pushing and making, making it happen despite the fact that we live in a pretty much flat place, despite this beautiful valley you're seeing right here, which is actually just a creek. And this is probably the biggest hills we have, which unfortunately aren't paved, but Hey, I've got a snow skate, so we can always, we always have that. And uh, so, yeah, basically, I, I just really want to spread the joy and the feeling that long, the longboard community has given me, and that's the feeling of acceptance. So that's what, part of the reason why when I found Steam Skate on the Steamit platform, I saw the same kind of community, that same work togetherness, and all I wanted to do is get you guys on board. Now, mind you, I wasn't 100% sure of it yet. Like, I, I tend to be a person that's pretty idealistic, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't tricking myself. 
So I spent almost two years on the platform before I really decided to start sharing it with you guys. And uh, so far it looks like we've got a couple people who are joining, yet to receive their usernames. But as soon as they make their first post, I'm gonna make sure everybody on Steam it sees it and that they get as many likes as possible so they start seeing the potential of this platform. Um, yeah, basically, and this is uh, a little bit more, more of my conspiracy theory mindedness. I don't trust the banking system. And that's why I initially got into cryptocurrency. And I feel that like with a lot of big movements you've seen recently, uh, if you guys have been paying attention to the news, like for example, Nike is now gonna be using blockchain to uh, essentially allow you to digitally own your shoes um, and then buy and sell. And apparently even uh, the ability to take two shoes together, breathe them, and then a new shoe is formed somehow. I don't really fully understand that, but yeah, basically they, they created a patent for, for blockchain involving with sneakers. Cause you know, people do buy and selling of sneakers all the time and hell it's like stocks almost. People are making money off that shit if they know what they're doing. Oh, I love that echo. Interesting that that got sprayed over yet none of the others. Well, hopefully we're gonna see some good graffiti pieces come up here. Always a nice place to go for a wander. I do a lot of my uh, snow skating around here. As you can tell, these are the only the few hills. So yeah, cryptocurrency. Um, there's also a few memos that have come out from giant central banks saying that they're moving in that direction, that there's new laws coming in place that are going to kind of cement how cryptocurrencies work and used and whether they're taxed and all these fun things. So. To me, that just shows that the banks actually are moving forward on the cryptocurrency thing and sort of like the whole dot-com bubble. It's a lot that are going to fail, but there's probably going to be a Google in amongst that, month, that bunch. And if you've invested in that, well, you're going to be doing quite well, much like anyone who would have invested in Google before the dot-com bubble burst and all the bullshit fucking companies fell under and the good ones kept. So basically, and here, here's the, the other thing that's really appealing to this. I don't necessarily have a ton of money to invest. I'm not a rich, well-off white guy, despite the fact that I'm white. Apparently that's supposed to be a thing. Instead, I have earned cryptocurrency simply by doing what we do on social media and posting videos, making comments, writing about politics, different things like that. Things I normally do on Facebook for free, I've been doing on Steemit and it's earned me, well, I guess I have like 2,000, almost 2,400 uh, tokens, which right now is worth like maybe 300 to $400. If you take the average price of Steam, which is $99 or 99 cents 0.7. So we'll just call it a dollar. Well, then I have $2,400. And if you take the all time high, well, that's, uh, what was it? $8 and 57 cents. So that's somewhere up on above $20,000 of tokens that I have, which again, I did by making longboard videos and, and earned that shit. And all I have to do is wait till the market maybe goes back up to sell. And there's a good potential that I could make pretty darn hefty payment for longboarding. That's, that's the whole point of this. So I'm hoping 2020, a lot of you guys start seeing that there's a lot of potential out there to change the way things are being done. Because there's a huge shift going on in the social media internet world. And uh, I hope that uh, I can take a bunch of you guys with me. And all of a sudden we're, you know, making longboard videos full time for, 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 for crypto. And we don't even have to worry about our jobs anymore. Maybe it'll just supplement our trips and going to races. I know I'd, I'd, 
I'd definitely give all the likes I can to someone who's going to a longboard race uh, and then posting it on Steam It. And that would make them money without any cost to me because it's that's how wonderful this system works. Um, yeah, just kind of wandering through the bush here. So basically, the last 10 years, even the last year, I feel, feel like I've grown a whole ton because, frankly, I used to be a very shy, sheltered person who was scared to travel. And now I'm just waiting for the next trip, waiting until the next time I can get out there, start filming some videos, stacking that footage, and start releasing it on Steam Skate, as well as spend time with all my uh, fellow longboarders out there who frankly have just are my extended family but you know that's why the phrase skate fam is is a thing so hopefully hopefully the uh, skate family joins me we see some massive changes in the uh, skate community where we all of a sudden have funding and we're not poor anymore that would be absolutely wonderful and uh, i just yeah, I want to I want to start doing some positive things. Speaking of which, on top of my cryptocurrency adventure, I'm also trying to start a business. It's you know, it's nothing really too special. I don't know how much you guys would be interested in it, but the idea being is that I I'm tired of buying, you know, those coffee vacuum containers and then forgetting my drink in it it turns to the nastiest smell ever and then that container's ruined because I forgot some coffee in there a couple of days. So I'm inventing a way to take any old jar, turn it into a thermos and make it reusable slash recyclable. You know, trying to think of the environment and at the same time, I'm really rather hoping that I'll make some little extra money off this and uh, maybe we'll be able to just work for myself and not worry about stressing out over a job every day because quite frankly I've got a bit of a stressful job so really looking towards to change my income sources and make myself more independent so I can spend more time doing what I love traveling, skating, making videos, and at the same time, not hate my life because I work for, for a boss that, uh, you know, with good intentions are making me feel like shit. So, yeah, that's, that's my most recent year, what I'm looking towards in 2020. <sighs> Fuck. Can you, can you believe we actually made it to 2020? Like, fuck, I remember thinking Y2K was going to be the end. And then 2012 was supposed to be the end. And I fucking survived it all. Hell, I even survived the end of the world that was predicted on all those uh, billboards across North America. What was it uh, November 3rd or something like that? I don't remember. Point being, it's fucking awesome to be alive. Like, seriously, guys. Like, the... I fucking wish I had just gotten started on this traveling and skating everywhere when I was younger as opposed to waiting till I'm so old. I already fucking have a sore back and some aches in my knees, but, you know, might as well just appreciate the time that I have and get out there. So I think I'm going to probably come back out with my snow skate and fucking shred some of this powder because this is a beautiful, beautiful fucking day. Fresh snow, not too cold. Well, I'm sure most of you guys would consider this cold, but I'm fucking Manitoban, so minus 10 with a plus wind chill. That's a perfect day. Um, yeah. Other than that, definitely contemplating moving out of Winnipeg. I, I kind of feel like my work here is done. If anybody wants to continue the longboard community without me, I will gladly hand them the reins. Cause look at moving to Nova Scotia or or uh, out by the Church of Skating, 
seems pretty tempting. At the same time, if I found the right job, hell, I'd move to BC and, and work there and skate all day long. But these things are quite hard to do because it takes a lot of money. And if I can just work less here, spend less on rent, and travel as much as possible, that seems pretty appealing too. So, because rent's here, rent's pretty darn cheap here, and I got a job that pays well, and hopefully a business starting soon. Anyways, I've run out of bush to walk through, and it's about to get pretty windy. So, I'm gonna leave this video at that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have joined Steam. If you haven't seen my pitch video, reach out and I'll send it to you. I, I'm debating still redoing it one more time, but for now I think the video is, is pretty acceptable, so I'm gonna probably make it public soon. Join me on Steemit. Join my Facebook group, Longboarding on Steemit, and I will show you how to make money off your social media activities just simply making videos. Like, how many of you guys have like 100 plus videos on your YouTube channel? You could just write a little blurb about your history and what was going on during that event. You post it on that event, and bam, you got yourself a couple of dollars. Which, if you hang on to in the crypto world till the market goes up again, well, could be hundreds of dollars. But that's the point, is there's a bit of risk, but that risk is minimalized if we're just earning through social media activity because you're already doing it for free on Facebook as I've mentioned earlier. Um, by the way, to cover my own butt legally, I'm gonna tell you this is not financial advice. This is not, well, basically you should just do your own research and don't take my word for it because frankly, as much as I think I'm smart, some of you guys might think I'm dumb. And there's all kinds of opinions out there. But if you check out the Steemit platform, make sure you follow Steamskate. That's where you're gonna see all the interesting stuff. There's a, a lot of nerdy talk about cryptocurrency, internet stuff, and things that may or may not interest you on there. So let's take it over with longboarding and make 2020 the year that longboarders find a new way to make themselves fucking rich off of longboarding. Like, until we get, you know, Olympic level fucking sponsorships with fucking Red Bull and fucking Monster Energy and all these crazy sponsors, which then, of course, is gonna change the sport, well, I don't see a reason not to try making money ourselves. Uh, what else? Shout out to Coast Longboarding, Bryson, you guys rock. I'm totally inspired always by everything you guys do. And if you ever feel down that uh, you guys haven't made an impact, which I highly doubt would be possible for you guys to feel, well, if you're worried about that, Check me out, because seriously, you guys have inspired everything I've done, basically. Uh, shout out to fucking Dizzy. You're awesome. Uh, Aaron. Every, everybody I've fucking skated with. Fucking Turner. William Turner. Fucking, you know, Boarding Media. All those guys. Like, check out their channels. Like, these guys are all better than me. I want them to start making money for their fucking videos I'm post that I'm seeing all the time. Like, I, I think everybody would be pretty fucking stoked to uh, to realize there is some chicks that are fucking rad on the board. And if they started sharing that on Steam, it I guarantee you guys you're going to start making more money than I am. So I really don't know why you aren't on it. But here I am telling you about it. And I guess since I'm continually ranting, I'm just gonna kind of wander back through the bush. Oh man, there's some powder runs here. Like maybe it's not quite deep enough yet, but fuck. Couple more snows. And we got yourself powder run. <laughs> Till I fucking hit this lip and fucking break both my knees. Oh! <sighs> Fuck, that would hurt. Yeah. I like how someone neatly chopped up all that wood over there. 
Did someone draw a hot dog on there? Does that look like a hot dog to you? Anyways, I'm probably going to stop talking now since this video is going to probably die because I'm holding this camera out in the cold and this camera doesn't like the cold. But yeah, stay tuned for more uh, 360 footage. I'm fucking big fan of this camera. So we're going to fucking shoot some more shit, do some more talks, and see if you guys like that shit. And again, follow me on Steemit. Join Steemit yourself. If I give you a like, that's worth money. If you give me a like, that's also worth some money. And that's the way social media should be because we're doing it because we like it. Anyways. Um, yeah. Peace out, Longboard community. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the new year. Merry Christmas for those of you who uh, still feel Christmassy. <laughs> and I haven't posted anything over Christmas to wish you all a Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas. And Happy Hanukkah. Merry Festivus. And all the other holidays. I hope you have them happy. All right. Yeah. Definitely time for a snow skate. Gotta, gotta put some food in my belly. Get out here with the board. Insert clip here. Boom!